do you notice anything different <laughs> um so i it will obviously by the title if you don't see it it's a diy ombre this is like my first ever diy video i think was woo -woo, i'm excited um so lately i had gotten the itch to do something with my hair i haven't done anything to my hair in over two years um just because i was blonde for five years like blonde blonde like highlights on highlights on highlights blonde and it really really damaged my hair so I gave my hair a break and I'm very happy with how it's recovered um so I wanted to do something I was it was either that or cut it and I have worked so hard to get my length so I didn't want to cut it just yet but so yes, I did do some research um, before I did my DIY. I looked up some videos and read some articles and I just went with my gut. Um, I will post the link to my favorite video down below. Um, and I did use all the products that she used except for the conditioners. So basically, I had gone back and forth between the L'Oreal Feria and then the preference the platinum one I don't have the box I left it at my mom's house but um, I will also have that link to the exact box down below with the exact picture of the girl that you should be looking for because there's like three different ones and you want the one that I'm showing you um, because it'll lighten up to seven shades not four or one or whatever but I was going back and forth between those because one is the ombre kit and one is a platinum blonde kit and the ombre kit comes with the brush it comes with all the necessary tools to get the ombre effect the other one is just for bleaching and the reason I didn't go with L'Oreal the Feria wild ombre whatever it is because um from my experience in the past when I use a box that is specific specifically made for brunette hair it never gives me the results that I want it always gives me orange not even like this this kind of looks a little brassy but in real life it's not but I've been like orange orange before so I didn't want to risk it um and like I said I hadn't done anything to my hair in over two years so this is all natural this is my natural hair color super dark brown and there's no no color on the ends no perming none of that craziness I just have the only thing I've done ever is like straighten it every now and then so I've never haven't done anything in over two years so this is for natural virgin type of hair the kit was really simple it was a platinum bleaching blonde kit thing and I mixed all the ingredients I put the developer with the bleaching powder and then you use your color in last and I didn't have the um, comb that you're supposed to use but I may do with the combs that I did have I would like spray I'm not spray I'd squeeze some you'll see in the videos to come I'd squeeze some on the comb and comb it upwards so that way I got I got the really nice like ombre going from like dark brown to this medium brown to this coppery to this like honey so I'm very happy with how it turned out um, what else do I want to tell you I if oh so I the technique that I used which you I will probably repeat this um, in my voiceover but I split my hair into three sections and then I tease them I don't know what 100% what that does but I saw every girl doing it in their video so I'm assuming it helps with like the eat the ombre -ness, you know like just to trickle down better um so I did that and then I go ahead, went ahead and used foil so I would part them into about one to two inch sections and then I just you know put it on my ends I started at my ends and then I worked my way up and then I would just foil it and then once I was done with my whole hair that took about 20 minutes I left it in for about another 15 20 minutes um, and then I would check it periodically and since I saw after 20 minutes my hair was not as light as I wanted it to be I went ahead and resaturated my ends so I did this twice in one sitting I do not recommend you doing this twice in one sitting if you are not comfortable with it or if you have excessively dyed damaged overly processed hair now I'm not an expert but just from my personal I just don't think that would be logically healthy for your hair um, so I would wait at least another week or two before if you wanted to you know up it another level um, so yeah so then afterwards I washed it out I used the blue conditioner it's a blue violet conditioner that comes in the kit and I let that sit in my hair for 10 minutes and then I went ahead and washed that out and then I did another deep conditioner it was the Carol's Daughter Manoa um, oil uh, treatment mask and I let that sit in my hair for 15 minutes and then I went ahead and styled it so I'm very happy with how I, it turned out I hope you guys like it um, 
but it was really easy it was I mean I went with my gut of what I felt would work for my hair from past experiences um, and yeah I may think about lightening it you know more blonde towards the summer but for now it's just I don't know I think it's a very pretty like to me it looks like a honey but I don't know how it looks I don't know I don't know I just know is that I got my own braid <laughs> so without further ado these are the clips that I have and I hope you guys enjoy Okay, so now this is the box that I used. It is L'Oreal Absolute Platinum. It is a fairy line, and this one is going to lighten it up to seven shades. It said it is the brightest box that I could find, and it has the girl with like an extreme smoky eye and long hair and bangs. But I will have that exact product listed down below. So here I've already sectioned my hair and pinned them into three sections, and this is the first section I'm working with. I teased it in the beginning and now I'm going from the ends this is just a regular um high like coloring comb I think and then I go in with a small tooth comb and that's when I start to brush up like you saw really quickly um, I'm gonna take my next section and I'm gonna start at the bottom um, work my way up and then be sure to saturate my ends really well and then go back with it I tend to sometimes use my fingers to really work the product into the hair and that again right there this is the comb I use it on both sides and then I like brush it up so that way the comb kind of grabs different sections of hair to help with the ombre so this is the last section of the first section I'm not going to show you my whole hair because this is all I did for all three sides of my head on the, the side the back and the front um, so then I'm also going to be foiling them each section with foil because the foil just kind of helps speeds up the process and I notice a difference when I use the foil. So here they are all together. I'm all done here and I have them on all sides. Hopefully it's even enough. It looks even to me and I let it sit for 20 minutes. I actually did not film me resaturating my hair, but this part is after I've already resaturated it. So I already let it sit for 20 minutes and then I resaturated it and then I let it sit for an additional 20 minutes and this is the result. So here I'm using the blue violet uh, conditioner that comes in the kit and I put that in my hair for about 5 to 10 minutes. And I let that work and then after that I rinse it out and then I apply my Carol Sauter Manoa Oil Deep Repair Mask and I let that sit for about 15 minutes and then I just styled my hair. So this is the result. I hope you guys found this video helpful and thank you guys so much for watching.